Hi, welcome to I've Had Worse, and today I'm trying Witchwood's Hobgoblin Session IPA. Um, never had this one. So they do an IPA, but this is their Session IPA. I think the their IPA is around 5%, and I will get round to reviewing that one. But their Session IPA is 3.4, and I am really interested to know what we get here. So Witchwood Brewery, in my opinion, used to be an half-decent brewery. Um, with some really interesting seasonal beers, now owned by Carlsberg Marsden, and so they tend to stick to the sort of Hobgoblin range. Um, is there? So they do, you know, the 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 Ruby, Ruby the King. King Goblin, Gold, yeah, Gold, Gold, yeah. I mean, they used to be really distinctive beers with really distinctive labels, um, and now they're just very, very boring. Um, yeah. Macro Brewery buys once good brewery and ruins it. It's a story as old as time. I am waffling. Let's get this into a glass. Let's see what we get. I mean, I did have a King Goblin, which is 6 percent So that's not a bad one still. Hobgoblin, last time I had it, wasn't bad. But they keep on prattling about with the AVB. Um, and in the can and the bottle, it's different. It's and even different, the tap, yeah. it's it's different as well. So if you liked it in the bottle and you saw it in a, in a, oh, I'll try that, you know, you're getting a different product. Why? Well, I suspect tax reasons, that's why. Okay, so we have a golden <coughs> IPA. <coughs> Sorry. Don't die. I like, I like you. Don't die. Okay, so like a yeah. golden beer. I poured that rather gently, but that head is just vanishing. Let's give it a sniff. Citrusy. Nettles. Is it a green bottle or a brown bottle? Brown bottle. Brown oh. bottle. We like brown bottles. Yeah, That's I couldn't something quite they've tell. done well. So a bit nettles. Reminds me of cat pee. Cat pee, yeah. When I moved out to the country, I brewed nettle beer because I found a recipe that was really quick. And all you get is about five gallons of cat pee. <laughs> not a good uh, not a good experiment that. Anyway, I am waffling. Gin ring. So there's a citrus grapefruit there. Mouth feels not bad, a bit thin. Finish is pleasant, but there's just nothing. It's not. I want that flavour dialed up a bit. Um, is it a session beer? Well, for that strength, you know, three point four. You're not. You can have half a dozen, and you won't make a prat of yourself. But you'd be it, water loaded by then. Oh, it doesn't have a great. Uh, again, this is not a bad beer, and for the price, Morrison's on offer for a pound. Not bad at all. But is it going to make you come back? Right, just have a look at the back. Light, easy drinking, yes. Extremely refreshing beer. So is water. <laughs> Pale yellow, yes. Packed with five New World hops. And yet that flavour is not really developed. It's not, yeah. Okay, yeah. Five World hops. Zesty aroma. Well, there's a little bit of grapefruit there, yeah. This session I pay with, is without compromise. Well... Finish isn't brilliant. An intense tropical fruit and citrus hoppiness you'd expect from an IPA. I'm getting the citrus, I'm not getting any tropical fruit. Just yeah. Instantly forgettable. There you go. Instantly forgettable. And 3.4. This is brewed for tax reasons. I'm convinced of it. They've dropped the AVB for tax reasons. Um, it's nothing about giving us something special. Um, I am waffling. Have you tried it? Did you like it? Did you know likey? Um, do you miss the really distinctive, uh, you know, they used to say, yeah, beers with character. And it was a really good logo there. You see it on t-shirts and everything. And it's like, yeah, interesting. And now it's just boring. A bit like me. Waffling on. Cheers, everybody.